Okay guys, so I want to go over how to do the filtration part of our experiment for Thursday. So, my reaction has gone to completion. I've, my blue solution is now clear with some orange ready chunks in it. Now I want to get these chunks out, but I don't want to you know, reach my hand in there. So I'm going to do something called filtration. How to do that? I need my ring stand, a funnel, another beaker, and a piece of filter paper. Okay. This filter paper is going to go right in here. To get this filter paper in there, I'm going to fold it in half first. Okay. Now I'm going to take my edges up and fold them towards the middle. So this one's going to come up like that. as is this one. I'm going to come and meet up in the middle. Okay. I'm going to take one of my corners and fold it back. Okay. Then I open it up and I've got this nice cone. Okay. Take my cone and put it into my filter paper, into my funnel. I'm going to take a little bit of distilled water, that's what's in here, and kind of put around the edges, so that way it stays in. Now we got a little dripping, huh? So the next thing I do is I'm going to take my beaker, and my empty beaker, and put it under my setup. Take my heterogeneous mixture that I made, I'm going to pour it in. I want to be careful not to put it over the paper. So if we come here and look, when I pour it in, I don't want it to go above this line. So again, I'm going to take my solution. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to dump it in, pouring carefully. Again, I don't want it to reach the top because I don't want it to come out. You see as it goes, I'm going to be left with a, with a film. A little bit hard to see right now, but I'm having no liquid in there and I've got that red stuff. I'm getting the solid out. So I'm going to pour again. You gotta get all this out now. It's gonna go. Do you see down at the bottom? The liquid is collecting in the other beaker. Let's focus that up a little bit. Yeah. Beautiful. See in there? Still got a little bit of liquid. Got a little bit of liquid. It's going to drip down. Okay. Now, got to get that out. Okay. Put us back. Okay. So, getting this out. All I'm going to simply do, I'm going to take my stir rod, put it over, and kind of bring it down my stir bar. Don't touch it with your hands. Bring it down. Bring it down. Get it going. Okay. Just a little bit closer. I'm kind of getting all this. gotten as much as I can out. So I'm going to take my DI water, just do a little squirt, pull the stuff down off the edges. Okay. Just 
swirl it around a little bit. And then I'm going to dump that. Oh, got to do it again. So I got some. So I got some left in there. And again, a little spurt and pour, and there we go. So that's going to filter on through, and when I'm left, all I'm going to be left with up top is a nice dry solid. It's going to have to dry for a little bit, maybe overnight, maybe for the class period. As much of this as I can, I want to get as much as I can. And there we go. And that is how you do your filtration.